What are they going to do? They're going to be under the runway to take off. Can you make a video? Janine, they're going to take off now. Taxi in tight formation, just as you will see them perform here this afternoon. This degree of precision has become a trademark of the Blue Angels since first established 72 years ago. 17 officers and 100 enlisted personnel comprise the Navy's flight demonstration squad. Pilots 1 through 4 fly in the diamond formation, displaying the precision flying required of Navy and Marine Corps pilots, while pilots 5 and 6 perform as solos, demonstrating the maximum performance capabilities of the aircraft. Once again, I'm Lieutenant Andre Webb from Lawton, Oklahoma, Blue Angel number 7, and the narrator for the flight demonstration, as well as the pilot for the key influencer and media personnel that we normally fly at each show site. Blue Angel number 8, Lieutenant Dave Steppen from Birmingham, Alabama, serves as our Squadron Naval Flight Officer and Events Coordinator. Commander Matt Kaslick from the Woodlands, Texas, serves as our Executive Officer. From Charlotte, North Carolina, our Maintenance Officer is Lieutenant Garrett Hopkins. From Ocala, Florida, our Flight Surgeon is Lieutenant Commander Juan Guerra. From Cambridge, Massachusetts, our Supply Officer is Lieutenant Brian Pace. Get ready for some action. Get ready for some action. David Gardner. From Scranton, Pennsylvania, our administration officer is Lieutenant Timothy Hawkins. They're on the runway. Get ready for some noise, Jake. Get ready for some noise. You're clear for takeoff. Thanks, Mo. Clear for takeoff. Zixel clear. Clear for takeoff. We're ready to rock. Off brakes now. Off brakes now. Over the house. The smoke comes on as Commander Doyle calls for the new selection of afterburner. Passing through the horizon, he will roll the formation 180 degrees to the upright position, completing They're the next to each other. takeoff.
Back to the right, Blue Angels 5 and 6 are rolling. Blue Angel 5 will perform the dirty roll on takeoff, while Blue Angel 6 executes a precise low transition and pitches up in 6 times the force of gravity. Force of gravity. Whoa, look at that, Jake. That's nice play! Yeah. They're coming. The Blue Angel Diamond will momentarily be making its approach from the right. In relatively slow speed flight, they will give you an opportunity to get they a close good look at, at the precision flying that produces the 18 inch wingtip to canopy separation between these four aircraft. From the right, the Blue Angel Diamond. <laughs> On a wave to the pilots. Yeah, they're, they're brave, aren't they? Approaching center point, Lieutenant Davies and Lieutenant Commander Hemper will roll their aircraft to 90 degrees angle of bank and push forward on the stage as they perform the opposing night edge pass. Look at this, Dan! Hey, watch it, we're going to go right by each other. The diamond is approaching for a maneuver that is likely yeah. familiar to those of you who have seen the Blue Angels perform in the past. They're good at this. They're good at flying. The diamond roll. They're going to do something that's going to scare us. Steve, are they going to do something that's going to scare us? Yeah. Am I going to jump? I might jump. I'm going to jump. They're brave to fly. Ladies and gentlemen, the opposing inverted to inverted rolls. Inverted, inverted rolls. I 
see a guy in the control tower. Approaching center point on Commander Doyle's command. All four pilots will simultaneously roll their You're good pilots. You guys are really good at this job. Here's Commander Doyle. Keep up the good work. Good brave. Stand up. Back up here. Aircraft pilots and enthusiasts who appreciate the difficulties associated with carrier aviation will enjoy this next maneuver demonstrated by the two solo pilots. To the right, Lieutenant Davies and Lieutenant Commander Hipler hey. will establish up your image formation. But look I'm closely for them. both aircraft are in the carrier landing. You need a better wave to those guys when they get in. We call the Fortis. Thank you guys. It's the forest. hanging upside down but the other one wasn't those weren't either for Navy and Marine Corps pilots who must land their aircraft on the small and sometimes pitching deck of an aircraft carrier at sea slow speed flight is just as important as high speed flight in order to demonstrate the dirty slow speed handling characteristics of the Boeing F-18 Commander Doyle has called for the extension of the landing gear and tail hooks by the four Diamond Pilots as they execute a maneuver performed by no other jet demonstration team in the world today. What's From happening, the left, Dad? The Diamond Dirty Loop.
Once again, you notice two significant modifications. While the wing with Lieutenant Commander Cruz and Major Mullins maintain a minimum width of the canopy separation, the flight leader and slot pilot are both in the inverted position. Ladies and gentlemen, from the right, the Blue Angel, Double Farble. What's Double Farble, Dad? Here comes Double Farble, Dad. I'm gonna watch him. Five and six are making their approach to the flight line at 400 miles per hour. 400 miles per hour! <laughs> Having rolled their aircraft 270 degrees across with minimum separation, observe as both pilots sustain six times the force of gravity to cross their aircraft over show center. Don't crash. to establish a right echelon formation. From the right at 378 miles per hour. 378 miles per hour. Thank you for your help. Converging on center point to demonstrate the rapid roll rate of the F 18's fly by wire flight controls. Approaching center point, I see one down two there. Yeah. I see two. Coming down the, that area, landing or something. Ladies and gentlemen, the opposing horizontal rolls. There he is, he's going so fast. That one. There's going to be two, but there's one so far. Placement generated by Commander Doyle's aircraft. From the left, the Blue Angel. Left, echelon roll. He might fly over my head. Janine, they're going to go over our head. Back into 
Oh my god. I jumped, Janine. Yes. Yes. Dad, I jumped. I always remember that. Never forget that day. To the right, Lieutenant Davies has joined the diamond in a line of rest formation. Still maintaining minimum separation, the pilots must now align to cross the 90 degrees from their flight path to Commander Doyle's aircraft. They'll climb up through vertical under heavy G as they Dad, perform the very sound like a rocket ship line of rest loop. coming in. We go to Steve's house today. What's going to happen? Several flight profiles of the F-18 morning. The two solo pilots will next demonstrate precision roll rate control. Approaching center, they will roll their aircraft 360 degrees, pausing 360 degrees, crossing center point in the inverted position. Ladies and gentlemen, the opposing four-point hesitation roll. That's us, that's right. What you gotta love this American ride. Both ends of the earth so burning. Funny how the world keeps I can still see him, yeah. They both might be coming. One, two, three, four. One, 
two, three, four, five, six planes. Yeah, when am I leaving? Commander Doyle is rolling out the diamond for another dynamic separation maneuver. The low break cross. Approaching center point, each pilot will form an individual break turn and exit the flight line in a separate direction. Dad, Daddy, what's the flight line? What? What's the flight line? It means how close we get to each other. That's when we're all the flight line. What are we doing next? We're not leaving at all. 
Ayat Leave until everybody else leaves. Right. Lieutenant David, so Lieutenant Commander Embar, we'll leave when everybody leaves. We're not leaving until everybody leaves. They'll pass before you, virtually standing blue angels five and six on their tails. They're gonna at less than 120 miles per hour. The flyby 120 miles per hour. Set the hornet apart in the air to air combat arena. From the right, the section high altitude. Are they landing, Dad? The pilots are going to be flying in rain. As they pass over Cinnabon, you will hear and feel the thunder of eight engines producing 120 Let's watch this, everybody. Janine, let's watch it. 